What's going on everybody? It's your boy Jimpy Zale. Back here with another video. And in this video, everybody, display time. I want to start working on the Wolverine display as well as the X-Men display. I don't have that much Logans and Wolverines like I do the Spider-Man. So I ended up wanting to do a compilation of the Wolverines plus the X-Men. Probably gonna cut the X-Men in half just so I can give myself some room to edit this video and get it out as fast as I can. So uh, let's let's get started. All right guys, so the first one I'm gonna put up is uh, the dark one. He looks pretty sick. He's a pretty old uh, figure, but I definitely wanted to keep him uh, kind of in, in a jumping pose. So pretty easy, pretty easy pose. Pegged him uh, on his belt actually. So I just literally pegged, I put the peg um, inside the belt and let him hang like that. So, all right, I know I should be doing a X-Force uh, display, but um, I don't really have much members. So yeah, anyways, I ended up putting X-23 right there. Um, X-Force X-23. And uh, I'm thinking about putting this bike in front of her, but I don't want it to be lifted so much because I wanted to uh, get old man Logan um, to jump off the bike in a sense, if you guys can understand what I'm trying to say. But uh, I'm just gonna show you and hopefully I can get that displayed correctly. Uh, by the way, I got her pretty close, as you can see. Her, uh, her stand's actually laying a little bit on the Dark Wolverine, but it's okay. All right, so my vision did not come true that well, but it kind of still looks like he's jumping off the bike and you know, the bike is pushing to the left, he's jumping to the right. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool so far. The next guy is I got um, this Wolverine with his mask off, just walking, throwing his claws out. That was one of the the, the poses that I really liked throughout um, X-Men movies, when uh, Logan is running or walking towards his enemy and he just he just throws his claws out and he's ready to fight him. So I want to do a little bit of a, that's, that's that type of pose, I guess. I ended up putting the Jug Wolverine in the front. Obviously this is his signature pose in a sense. Put him in the back, but I'll probably be moving him, uh, wandering him around. I'm not particularly sure if I want to keep him like that or not. Um, and the reason why it's so squished in, obviously you guys know that I don't really have space. So I'm just trying to make as much space as I can or use as much space as I can with how much I have. And uh, obviously I have a lot going, so yep, let's go ahead and uh, continue with the X-Men. To start off the X-Men, I put Psylocke up there. Woo, she looks pretty cool. Oh yeah, I put Wolverine in the back for this, whatever. So I was meaning to put him a little bit more to the right, but man, I did way too much work to uh, go back there. So I'm just gonna leave it like this for now. I'm gonna work on Sunfire, but I think I'm gonna put Sunfire in a, in a ceiling pose, like on the, on the ceiling. So uh, let's just see whoever I'm gonna put in front of Sidewalk. I'm not sure yet. All right, guys, Colossus was next. Just put him in a little simple uh, running pose, not really walking pose, and he's about to grip something. Pretty cool. And then I put the most gummiest action figure I have, Iceman. He's so gummy. But uh, yeah, put him in a simple crouch pose, and I'm gonna probably bring his hand up a little bit. But yeah, this is kind of technically what I, how I want him. I want him in the front anyway. I know I said I wanted to do battle scenes and stuff, but um, I don't know. I think I think that's just not my specialty right now. Just wanted to put that in. But anyways, I put Gladiator in the back and I put uh, Kitty Pride in the front. So definitely loving that. And I'm thinking about putting Shadow Star right in front of her, uh, but I'm not sure. I don't know if I want to start working all in the back and then build forward, but. Uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know. So I went ahead and put Warlock in the back. Um, I'm not liking how it's touching the cape, but I'll fill that spot right here in the middle. And for obviously up here is gonna probably be Rogue and once again, Rogue and Jean Grey. But anyways, I put multiple men right there. He's like running. Uh, that's the same pose I had on the opposite side. So, or on, on the other shelf. So I ended up putting him just like that, having the cape look like it's flowing away. Shadowstone right in front of him, so. Oh my god, what the hell happened? What? Oh. Is there too much superhero-ness up here for me? I don't know, too much mutants, man. Too much powers. It's starting to mess with the lights. <laughs> I'm just kidding. For some press of space. Oh man, I really don't want him there. Man, I really want him somewhere else. So I might end up putting him right here. Like this. And then putting Cyclops over here. As much as I don't want to do that because I want Cyclops in the middle. He's technically, to me, the leader of the X-Men when it comes to the missions. Um, I just, I don't know. I just feel like it's a little bit more stu steady here. Uh, let me just, uh, there you go. There you go. So I'm liking it more like this. 
Uh, and she fell, obviously. The dom domino effect. <laughs> a domino effect. But yeah, she fell, made a domino effect, everyone fell. So I had to refix it. Um, I think that'll be all for tonight. I will continue this video the next time I see you. Whenever that is. It's been about like a week or two uh, since the last time I've showed you guys. So I don't remember what I did last. But I know for a fact that uh, Storm wasn't there. So I ended up putting Storm in the front. Um, I kind of covered the legends that were the X-Men characters. I don't really care as much to be um, shown. So Multi Man is kind of covered as well as Domino in the back. I like Domino, but you know, I had to make what ends meet. Um, X23 in the back right there. I forgot to put her with the Wolverine set, but I ended up putting Rogue and uh, Jean Grey up there. I know that they are in their usual poses, but I'm just a little bit uh, lazy and I need to push my space because I have all these figures um, in boxes. So the next one I'm going to do is this guy and I have a surprise pose and a special guest in this display video. Alright, so I ended up putting uh, Sabretooth like that. I know he's a villain, but I don't know, just put him like that. And um, as much as I wanted to put Archangel in a stand, one of those stands, I actually like him in this pose. So I was thinking about uh, Vulture and how I put Vulture on his head on a thumbtack and I decided to put him up, but I, I actually got the dump tack in between his wings. You see how it folds right there in the back side? The thumb tack, if you get it, if you get those thumb tacks that have a flat back, it actually works pretty well. So, uh, yeah, and he's gonna be fighting a couple peoples. All right, so I just realized how much I hate the middle part, um, and how much I love the outer skirts of it. So I mean, I'm just trying to push as much as I can into a little display, but I will say that this guy is super heavy. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. Anyways, I put Apocalypse in the front because he's so cool. Um, I put Magneto right there. Um, he's he's on a little uh, thumbtack. And this guy, I put him in a running pose, Marvel Select Juggernaut. Spoilers for the next video. I don't know why I'm putting this up before the next hunt, but anyways, and then I Put a uh, a stand in between his swivel on his uh, his waist It's able to keep him up like that. So it's pretty sick. Anyways guys that will be all for this display video I hope you did enjoy it. I mean, it's it's a pretty interesting uh, Display I know that there's a lot of X-Men coming out and I know I think I'm missing a good amount of X-Men right now So I gotta figure that out before I end it But obviously I think that I'm just gonna end it here and to be honest with you uh, the Marvel Select Juggernaut was the cup of tea that I needed hell hell Yes, I needed him and I absolutely love him in the display I'm just kind of nervous now because it's starting to get a little heavy on the shelf. But I'm also glad that I put him near the middle of the shelf itself. If you guys did enjoy this one, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe if you guys are new. Make sure to also comment down below if you guys love these display videos. This is not something that I, I'm consistent on when it comes to my channel. I usually just do toy hunts. I do do display uh, videos once in a while. And uh, if you guys are simply new to the channel, yes, uh, this is something that I did back in the day. Tons of X-Men are coming out. And this year, Gambit. Weapon X, Jubilee, Mystique, uh, Beast. Man, there's gonna be a crazy amount of X-Men coming out and I, you guys already know, by that time I'm gonna redo the display. I'm hoping you guys like the little standstills of the video around all the angles that I have. Zayo Nation, Zayo Gang, this is your boy Jimpy Zayo. I'll catch you guys in the next one and make sure to get your figs up. And I'm sorry for the spoiler. I'll see you guys in the next hunt. Later.